Welcome back to Brigandine. We have occupied Eorcia. That was a really nasty fight. And now we're going to Dilworth. I, this is all messed up because freaking Asgaris Empire went nuts on us. And I don't know, I think we normally originally had three knights coming here, but since they took the capital back, uh, one of our uh, characters were forced back. Uh, so we got two on three, of course, Irvin only, only being by himself, so. Uh, let's see what they got over here, because I'm not too... I'm not sure. Paradol is a bishop, level 11. He's only got enough for one area heal or two divine rays. Yep. And he could even do an area heal and a divine ray. So that's... that's, uh, notable. Um, Salil, on the other hand, could do one of each. What the heck? Okay. Turn the... Turn the battle animations back on. I do like the battle animations. If you don't, let me know. Alright. We got this massive white dragon. Pretty much awesome. And a level 6 dragon. He's. It'd be pretty cool to have a uh, salamander and a silver dragon. I think it's called a salamander in this game, if I remember right. Uh, just in Baynard's group. Because that would be. That'd be a red, a two orb red dragon, a two orb white dragon, I think, and then Vaynard himself would be two blue orbs. So that'd be pretty sweet. That Hellhound is level 9, so I want to protect him. I want a Fenrir. Unicorn's level 6. We got an interesting choke point here, and both of our rune knights have Geno spells, so I'm not sure... Thinking it would be best to get our... Well, I don't know. I don't know. We'll go like... We're probably going to need to wait a turn to get our dragons up. Let's just put it that way. Because I, I don't want to move them. I don't want to move our rune knights too, too close. The nice thing about the flyers is they can go off the... Into the mountains. And the hellhound, apparently. So that's nice. Something like that. And then uh, Baynard, he's gonna he's gonna end up moving pretty close, I think, into the front line, pretty much. But we'll see um, exactly how we're gonna situate here. Hopefully, I didn't just move so close that they attack us. All right, protect on on their bishop. I respect that. It's a good call. It's a sign that they're gonna fight it out too, so that's good. All right. Nice. I was worried I moved too close there. Let's see how far this dragon can go first. Alright, not too... Not as far as I would like to see. Alright, so... I think in ideally, we put like... I don't know. Like, Vaynard here. In a lane. I don't know, maybe right behind him. Something like that. Right here. Get our unicorn up where he can heal. Now, why is this? Did I forget to move that lizard man? He's so far behind. Alright, so yeah, I think that's the best way to go, because Vaynard can definitely sit on the front and be relatively safe. We could go. We want this breath attack in there for sure. I don't want to block this dragon, so this uh, green dragon's going to move right here. So we could put, we could put the silver one, like so. There we go. Okay, that looks, that looks pretty good. And Hellhound. Wow, do we have two level 9 Hellhounds? We sure do. That's awesome. I'm excited about that. Alright, magic. Put the protect down. I'm thinking we'll put it on uh, put it on Vaynard. Hopefully they I think they'll focus him if they get a chance. He's got 666 health, so that ought to tell you something. This is that's scary. I thought uh, Oh god. Oh god. Alright, I thought for a second there that I made the exposed Elaine. I, I didn't think that out as well as I thought. That's okay. A mess from the dragon. Good start. 
Give me some more Wyver 1 in. I wonder if those names change. I bet every battle they get assigned new names. If I had to guess. There's a worth worthless clay golem. It looks like he, the clay golem is actually going to get to fight, which is amazing because we haven't seen that yet. Not consistently, at least. Alright, hopefully our dragon will fare better than their dragon did. I just remembered that I think being on a road makes it easier to hit a target, so... I guess we're all going to be on a road, so it doesn't really matter, but... Something to consider. Whoa, okay, right. Alright, good stuff. Curious to see what that uh, Vampire Lord does. I think we saw him way back at the beginning of the campaign. One of the first Eskaris castles. I believe he's normally with the ninja, uh, Shiraha. If I'm not mistaken, but apparently they moved him around. The AI is not using that ninja at all. It's kind of strange. This is risky. I'm going to give this a shot. The dragon missed the Wabarn. Hellhounds are hard to hit. It's in a mountain. Hopefully this works out for us. Wow, good damage. Critical. Makes sense. Get shifty. Ah, no dice. Still did take a ton of damage. Oh, it didn't let me pull back though. Hmm. Not sure why I couldn't withdraw there. Alright, so we got... I don't see the point of ever using Charm. I, I don't trust it. I got enough mana for uh, a Genofrost. Two, two Genofrosts. Or Genofrost and some, heal, uh, some Frosts. So I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna wait. Bide our time. Irvin. You can only use one Geno. And I doubt that he'll do it anyway. Hate to break my line here, but let's see. Yeah, you know what? I'm I'm just gonna hold because there isn't a great position for a, a breath attack, and I don't want to really um, risk putting that dragon in a spot where he could get take some serious damage. So. A lot of level, uh, high level units I have in this army here. Which is kind of strange because we really haven't used Vaynard a whole lot. I guess we've been fairly balanced with how how many uh, battles each Rune Knight has been in. The people on the east side that uh, attacked uh, Leonia have been pretty much stuck over there, not doing anything. I was hoping the AI would, uh, would maybe attack, but no dice so far. Alright. And protect. We got one more protect here. What do we want? We got the dragon. I would like to put it on this the white dragon, but uh, can't reach. Actually, he's a white and a red, so I misspoke before. Alright, let's go with him. I gotta get that lizard man in. Don't know why he's lagging so far behind. See, he's only got enough for one Geno, so really we might as well might as well cast Frost here. Baynard is a killer, man. He is a killer. Love him. It's like the Rob Stark of uh, of Brigandine. Good damage, not too bad. Got enough for a Geno, and then one more. Uh, Frost, so that's pretty solid. Our Hellhound is going to take a beating. Of course, there's a, about an 87% chance of a miss here from the Clay Golem. I'm calling it right now. Oh, and he proved me wrong. Man. Play 1E. Sign him up. I want to I wanna kill uh, their Rune Knight and trap that Clay Golem. Halo. They just used 
Halo. I'm without words. <laughs> Halo, if I'm not mistaken, increases the amount of experience you receive after taking an action. So that literally, like, did nothing for them at all. That's pretty funny. We are taking a lot of damage on the front line, though. I'm not too crazy about that. Man, leave my Hellhound alone, man. Jeez. Give me a dodge. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Doing work. I'm a little scared about this, though. Life drain. So he gets... Oh, my God. Level 20. Yeah, this uh, this guy actually worries me a little bit. Let's see what kind of damage he does. That's not bad. Less than 100. Come on. For a level 20 unit? I mean, come on. Yeah. So, not great. But he does heal himself every time he hits, I believe. He gets a portion of that, that uh, damage back. Oh, you're dead, Salil. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my god. Hmm. I, I, once again, I'm left without words. They have a ton of dragons, too. It seems like the AI is really, really going pretty hard on the dragons. So, do I cast Geno Frost or do I cast Frost and just blast Salil as much as possible. It's a tough choice. Genofrost is only going to hit four. With that said, let's do it. I don't know, they do have a lot of healing. I mean, really, in all seriousness, uh, if I don't kill him in one round, in one volley, he's uh, definitely going to survive. So, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how this works out. I think we're gonna definitely, we're, yeah, we're definitely gonna target him. Flat out. I mean, there's, we gotta punish that stupidity. Hopefully we don't uh, have a series of misses here. Damn. Okay. All right, just to make sure we, uh, oh, I'm on the wrong character. Okay, never mind. I was going to say, I'm definitely going to use a breath attack with the other dragon, and then we'll finish him with Vaynard. Um, that giant is going to retreat when we kill Salil, so I'm not even going to attack him, just to save health on our on our um, lizard man. And I want to pull, I'm going to pull this hellhound back, just because he's fairly low. I don't want to lose him. At the same time, it'd be better to heal the dragons anyway, so. I cannot imagine what they were possibly thinking when they used Halo and when they moved their bishop into melee range with Vaynard. And then didn't attack anything. That boggles my mind. It's going to definitely cost them. What they? I think they had a chance to win this because they had a lot of healing. That would have countered, oh my god. That would have countered, um, would have countered our Geno spells. That lizard man got blown the F up. Holy crap. Alright. Here's the thing. I would like to get the kill with the dragon. To get him more experience. Hmm. But it's uh, not guaranteed, because the dragon could miss. So let's just do it this way. Do it the smart way. We're not so far ahead that I can make that kind of risk. I was going to say I could hit him with Vaynard first and then have the dragon finish him, but... Oh, what, what the hell am I thinking? I could have just breath attacked anyway. Sorry. I... I'm like... Uh, like on drugs or something, I don't know. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, we de definitely just uh, cost that guy a lot of, a lot of, a lot of experience, but that's okay. That's more like it, as far as... Yeah, let's do that. Okay. 
I was gonna save the mana, but it hits two rune knights, so it's good enough for me. I think they're gonna retreat after this. Salil's their best character, I think. If I remember right, it's level 11. Or maybe the other one was higher, but either way, it's the bulk of their units. <gasps> oh my god. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> wow. I cannot believe it didn't do enough damage. Wow. <laughs> well, that's surprising. Here I am talking about guaranteeing a kill, and then I failed to kill him with Baynard. I guess I should have just autoed it, but it's my defeat. Yes, it is. Alright, so that definitely thinned the crowd quite a bit. Let's see. Could definitely afford to come in here and attack this guy. I don't know if, um, I, I'm assuming they'll retreat at this point, but it is still two on two, so the AI has done dumber things. Wow, that was good damage. And he missed on the counterattack. Can we... Can we kill Paradol? That would be awesome. He's gonna probably retreat right here. There's nothing they can possibly gain from not retreating here. Come on, Drago. Six in. stuff. It seems like the names always end in either an N or an E. I wonder what the reason for that is. I know that that, like, is not important whatsoever, but it makes me curious. Alright, let's see. We can do, we can actually use Halo ourselves. Can our Hellhound reach? He can. We're gonna go for this. Maybe, if we get up there far enough. Let's see, did the dragon... The dragon can reach from here. And they are out of rune range, so that's not good for us, but I don't know what kind of damage we'll do here. But I'm thinking that the Hellhound with Halo... Oh my god, that's significantly horrible. Wow. It would have been better for me just to move forward and... Uh, to make sure they were in, in range of her rune effect. That's pretty surprising. But I was thinking that with Halo, we might actually be able to get enough experience for a level. We'll see. That is insane how, how much damage they lose. And even that kind of damage coming from him is really high. There it is. You reached level 10. We got it. Oh, everybody gets a turn. This might do less than 30 damage, if I had to guess. I'm going to say 18. Oh, 37. Pretty good. I don't think we can kill him. Definitely not, actually. I left the lizard man out to dry. It's okay. And retreat. All right, so another win for Norgard. Uh, we're now surrounding the capital, I believe, and that'll be interesting to see how that works out. But I'm going to call it an episode right here. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below. Click the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next one.